Hi everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm here with another nail art video. This week it's a Christmas candy water marble. I had fun doing it so I hope you enjoy. For this water marble I used these three colors. Blanc by Essie, Going Incognito by Essie, and China Rouge by China Glaze. I do already have the white on my left hand and I had already done the water marble on my right hand. As well, I've also already put on the cuticle protectors that I got from Twinkle Tea. Got the purple ones this time, I sure love that purple. So I did start off with some room temperature water and I am placing just a couple drops. I'm doing two drops of white, two drops of red if it'll ever come down, and then one drop of green and I repeated that three times. Once I had my bullseye finished, it was then time to start pulling the polish. As you can see, I did have a little bit of issues. My room was cold, so the polish was drying. The water was too cool, and the polish was drying too quickly. Oh, the fun. I am using a toothpick because I couldn't find my um, bamboo skewers I usually use for that. I guess I need to go to the store and get more. I am pulling it in as well because I am trying to create a candy look. And I think this is going to be really, really effective and I, I know that it was because I had already done my other hand. I'm just centering it and I'm going to give it a bit of a swirl. I don't know how big I was thinking my nails were but uh, my nails are still very short but I did much too big of a swirl and of course I'm again having my issues trying to figure out exactly where I want to dip my thumb in. This is always the hardest part for me because you look and you're like okay how's that design going to fit and I hadn't water marbled for a about a year which is crazy so I wasn't really sure so I just keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning but I did finally decide to just dunk that thumb in there and get my um, orange stick ready to clean things up. Once I had dipped my thumb in then it was time to make sure that I cleaned up all the polish around my thumb without hitting my thumb to make sure that uh, I could pull my thumb out without wrecking the design. And there we go. There's my design. Now I am going to off camera take off the uh, cuticle protector which you can see and then I'm just cleaning up with a bit of acetone and one of my cleanup brushes. Water marbling is very messy and I'm very messy doing it like I am. I, I just think I'm messy when I do things. I just get too involved. So I did put a paper towel down on my um, silicone mat just so I had a place for the water and a place to put all my extremely messy tools. So I did take some time cleaning it up and I'm, I'm quite happy with the results. I think that looks pretty cool. I did have a little bit of the purple cuticle protector on there. I did leave it on my nail a little bit too long. Possibly, I'm not sure, or maybe because it was the first one I put on, it did get a little stuck, but I eventually did get it off with some acetone and my tweezers. I also end up using more than one cleanup brush. Uh, I like the smaller one for the more detail areas and that larger one for larger areas that I want to clean up. So once I had my thumb all cleaned up, it was time to get started with my next bullseye. So once again, I am putting in, I'm doing the order of two big drops of white, two of the red, and one of the green, and I did do that three times again. You can 
see that the design can be just a little bit different every time, so it can make for a lot of fun when you're trying to create something as whimsical as candy. So at least this time I figured out where I wanted to put my finger. <laughs> that just sounded really wrong. And again, I'm just trying to clear away the extra polish from around my finger so that when I pull it up, it won't have any streaks or bad marks afterwards. You want to make sure you have a clean design. And there it is. So again, I'm just going to quickly clean that up off camera. So I'm just going to repeat the same steps for the other three nails on my left hand, and then we'll be ready for top coat. So now that I have everything cleaned up, it's time for top coat. And I went with Sesh Feet this time because, well, it was really late, and I wanted to go to bed. So I wanted a quick drying top coat. my finished Manny. I think it turned out pretty good and my family thinks it looks like candy canes. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did if you could please hit that like button as well if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe and if you've already subscribed if you could please hit the post notifications so that you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you and have a great day.